Fox 44 is your local election headquarters. All right, thanks for staying with us tonight on election night. Let's take another look at some of the other races that we have making some waves and headlines here in Central Texas. That's right. Let's take a look at the race for mayor in Copper's Cove. Frank Sefrod leading 4% right now. Zeta Taylor, 43%. This is 100 precincts reporting. That race only close by 220 votes. Yeah, very close on that one. Let's move on here to two spots in the Copper's Cove City Council. Let's go with the first position there. Joanne Cortland seems to be leading 10%. Lead right now over Cheryl Meredith for that one. That seems to be called right now at 100% of precincts, and the numbers are in. So Joanne Cortland will be on the Copper's Coppers Cove City Council for that first position. Now, position two, also Coppers Cove City Council, Fred Chavez, 55% over James Pierce Jr., 45%. This one also uh, pretty close, leading by 475 votes. Four people, though, vying for a seat on the Coppers Cove School Board. Or, well, let's go with the Coppers Cove ISD trustee rather right now for the second place. As uh, you see there, we've got a runaway lead uh, in this one. So that one seems to be called at this point. Can we let's move on to that other seat that I was talking about uh, if we have those numbers up as well, which uh, there we go. Gatesville ISD trustees right there, Linda Maxwell, Charles Anderson, and Michelle Edwards right there. You have neck and neck, Leslie, right now. Still early. But uh, Maxwell and Anderson seem to be uh, very close. That's right. There were actually seven people looking to fill those seats. Now, switching directions to replace Christina Rosenthal as Nolan Mayor, Andy Williams, 72 percent, taking it away over D. Keith Biggs. He, uh, Andy Williams, leads by 410 votes.